Producing music from start to finish is a time-consuming process. When you're producing, you want to get what's inside your head into the computer as fast as possible with as few steps as possible. And having a slow workflow will take away from this. One of the best ways to speed up your workflow is to memorize and use all of the key commands available to you in Ableton, as using key commands are much faster than opening up a menu and clicking around. But not every function is mapped to a key command in Ableton, and some very important key commands have been left off that would be sure to speed up your workflow. My name is Daniel with Advato Tuts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom key commands in Ableton 10 on a Mac to help you improve your workflow. So let's get into the DAW. Key commands are truly the most powerful tool that you could use to improve your workflow. Nothing is faster than using a mouse in unison with key commands. While Ableton 10 does a great job of mapping a lot of the very important functions of the DAW to key commands, they have still left off a few key commands that would be very valuable to the producer. If we go ahead and look at the live menu up on the top left-hand corner, we can see there are a lot of the functions are mapped to key commands already. The new live set has a key command, the open live set has a key command, and so on. But still, we can see that some of them do not have key commands. Most notably, some very important functions that are left off are the freeze track, the flatten, the extract grooves, the slice to new MIDI track, the convert harmony to new MIDI track, convert melody to new MIDI track, convert drums to new MIDI track, insert time signature, and add locator. Ableton has not mapped these functions to specific key commands because they have felt that they are not the most essential. But when it comes to key commands, it is really about personal preference and finding out what works for you. So for the functions that do not have a specific key commands mapped to them, we can create them. So for this example, we're going to create the custom key command for the freeze track and flatten menu options. To do this, we're going to go into our computer's system preferences. Then we are going to head on over to the keyboard and then go on over to shortcuts and then click on app shortcuts then press the plus sign and go up to application click on all applications and click ableton live 10 suite then enter in the menu option that you would like to map and in our example we're going to do the freeze and flatten track first do the freeze and make sure you have the exact spelling and capitalization that is used in ableton 10 for this menu item now it's time to add in the keyboard shortcut. You'll wanna add in a keyboard shortcut that is not already used by Ableton, as our custom key command will not work if we use a key command that is already used by Ableton. You can browse through a list of all the used custom key commands on the Ableton reference manual. I have put a link to the reference manual in the tutorial. One key command that is not used is the command shift equal sign. So just type in the shortcut and click add. And we also wanted the flatten menu option. So we'll go ahead and click the plus sign again. Type in flatten. And then add in our keyboard shortcut. The command shift minus sign is also not being used by Ableton. So we can use this key command to map to the flatten option. Then click add again. Heading back on over to our DAW, we can go ahead and test out our new key commands. I have here a MIDI track with the synthesizer serum and a mini note. Go ahead and play this mini note. So we're going to go ahead and freeze this track. I'm going to use the command shift equal sign to do this. As you can see, the track is now frozen using this new key command and using our second key command that we have created for flatten, the command shift minus. The MIDI clip is now flattened to audio. It has performed exactly the key command that we want it to. 
So if you find any functions in Ableton Live 10 that do not have specific key commands, then you can go into your Mac system preferences, keyboard, shortcuts, and add in these key commands and help improve your workflow.